customers have told me that they have a really hard time taking stamps and knowing what to do with them. They can just put them behind a frame or something like that, but they have a really hard time getting a, a multicolor pretty blend. And so I decided to go ahead and share one of my secrets, and that is how I use these blendable styles and the, um, and the overlays. So let me go ahead and grab one here. Um, I think I'll use this one right here. This is from my overlay set three, and it is pattern number two. All you have to do is drag that over on top of your stamp, and then create a clipping mask, and you have a really beautiful multicolored stamp. Now that's very light because it's on this white paper, so I'm going to go ahead and just add a levels adjustment and bring that up so it has a little more color, and that I think is really pretty. And there you have a nice multicolor in in seconds. Now you saw that there were lot there are 36 overlays, and so you can have just any sort of variation of color that you like. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with a style. This is the same pattern in a set in a style, and I show you this because it does look different in a style because of the other attributes I've um, associated with that style. So here again is the same pattern. I haven't installed the styles. All I need to do is click on it to apply it, and there you have it. That's exactly the same pattern as we used on the overlay, but you can see it's got a little more texture, a little bevel and emboss, and it's really pretty. Now if I turn that levels layer back on, it's a little, little bold, so I'm going to take that down a tad, and that's just just beautiful, I think. Just so, so pretty. So I hope this gives you a, an uh, idea about how to use these overlays and styles. And Quick and Easy does it for today's tutorial. Thanks for watching.